and we responded with our tapes. One of the high points of my trip was listening to some three hours that Patricia had recorded. I had almost no recording of her voice, but now I have brought back these precious tapes and I hope they can be transferred to a CD. Since Peter's death, Bridget has spent many years, she is a nurse, in Malawi as part of the Church of England's medical mission there. Some three years ago, she finally sold a house in Cambridge and bought one in Chinner. She chose this village for several reasons. It is a beautiful location. It is equidistant from her daughter and her son. She claims that her friends are more likely to visit her here as Chinner is not a destination, but a place on the way to destinations, unlike Cambridge. It is a small, some 6,000 inhabitants, and a friendly place. Her house, red brick, is relatively new. It was built in 1972, right on the main street, a short distance to the church and to the shops. It is quite spacious, and I had a bedroom and a private bath on the second floor. She has recently had a glass conservatory built on the back, where we spent most of our time. The fenced garden has two large apple trees whose free fruit I enjoyed in many a crumble. Soaring overhead almost every day I was there were kites, the birds, as many as four or five flying constantly. But on that Friday, we had a short afternoon and an early supper. Bridget went off, leaving me to watch the news on television. She sings in the church choir, one of four or five members, which rehearses on Friday evenings. Needless to say, it was early to bed for me. Pie break? Well, maybe I'll make coffee. Oh, okay. Right? You guys gonna want coffee? Anybody want coffee? Certainly. Sure. I figured. All right. Well, then I better help you with the coffee. All right. Hope it's good. And people might want to get somewhere comfier, do you think? Or just stand?